Hey, what's going on guys? This is Raycommend, and we're going to be taking a look at the TurboGrafx-16 Mini, which you can actually order from Amazon Japan because it's not out in the US yet, and it's been delayed for who knows how long. It cost me about $6 more than it would to just buy it from Amazon if it were available in the US. So six bucks, got it super early. I don't think it's a bad deal. And that's only because I don't have Prime in Japan. If I would have had Prime, it probably would have been the same cost. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So here's the box, as you guys can see. Kind of has sort of a color scheme that I remember for the original box, but if I remember correctly, in the original box had kind of a dude's face on this side or on this side. I forgot which side it is, but there's a guy's face on it. It's not here, but it still looks pretty good. Here's the top of the box. Just flip it around. The back that shows off all the games. So, in particular of interest to me is Alien Crush, which is the awesome pinball game for the Turbo Graphics. Blazing Lasers, you know, Kanye West made that one famous. If it was obscure before, not so, much, not as much now. A lot of people like Dungeon Explorer. Yeah, I'm not crazy about it. One of my personal favorites, which is Ninja Spirit, which is an awesome ninja game. I'm trying to get it physical for the original system. Psychosis I actually used to play as a kid. It's kind of a weird sort of, I guess you can almost say Gradius-like game in a bit. Not exactly, but somewhat resembling it. Space Harrier. Splatterhouse, awesome exclusive for this console. At least, at, the, at least it was at the time. Eastbrook 1 and 2, which were Turbo Duo games, which were some of my first experiences when I played one of my friend's uh, Turbo Duos. Bounce Revenge, The Mascot, Kadash, Arcade uh, Translation, kind of RPG-ish. Then you got Parasol Stars, and Irzonk. I'm curious about Soldier Blade. I haven't played that for some reason, although I do have a real Turbo Graphics now. But I mean, it's awesome stuff to try out. And of course, this is a mini that actually has a bunch of PC Engine games as well. Now there's about six games here that are the same game, but they're just between different regions. So, and there's a bonus game here that is in English, which, where is it? It's Ninja Ryukinen, which is Ninja Gaiden. There's a code in that game that was in the original release that will turn that game into a fully English translated game, which is awesome. But let's get into what you guys have come for and open this up. All right, let's see what's in here. So here's the manual. Instructions, not sure what kind of instructions you'll need. I mean, if you know how to plug in anything else, do not throw or drop this product. It may cause damage or defect. Now, if you don't know that right away, what are the chances you can read, honestly? Here's the layout. Included, TurboGrafx-16 Mini, gamepad, HDMI cable, micro USB cable, and the instruction manual. close up there in case you want to take a look. How to use turbo functions. This controller does come with turbo unlike the PC Engine Mini which should not have that, op that option on the controller. Alright, so that's just the rest of it in different languages. Now let's take a look at the system itself. Apologize for the, you know, kind of ghetto setup here. You know, with everybody being at home, I had to kind of find a quiet spot in my house. So here's the console itself, and it looks pretty nice. It's not as mini as you would expect. For example, here is a real Turbo Graphics. <laughs> Let me see if I can move this out of the way for now. So that's a real Turbo Graphics, right? 
and it's with the mini on top. So, I mean, it's smaller, but I don't know if I would call it mini. You can actually put this with the rest of your normal consoles and people probably wouldn't know any better. Now the back, now on the real console, you can also remove this backing, which I suspect you'll be able to do on the mini one as well. So here's the power. I do like that this has two controller ports versus one on the original console, which was a stupid move. I, I'll say that to this very day by NEC. So at least you got your two USB controls or ports there. Antenna, antenna switch, that's funny. There's nothing there. That's gone. Put that on the back. And there's your Konami sticker. Konami now owns all the rights to Hudson Soft. Now let me see if I can get this off without breaking anything. Right, and there we go. Alright, so the, the HDMI. The mic USB is back here. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. Let me see if I can light that up for you guys so you can see it better. There you go. So there's your TurboGrafx-16 Mini. Now let's see what else we have in the box. Your standard HDMI cable. Ah, here we go with the controller. And it has that new controller feel where it's a little stiff, but it feels pretty good actually. It's the same size as the original controller, except it has a much, much longer cord. I've heard this is like 10 foot, 10 foot long. And here's an original controller so you guys can see for yourselves. At some point, if I do a full review, I'll tear these down and I'll let you know if they're the same internals or not. I believe they are from what I've seen. But there you go, much longer cord. If you don't believe me, here's, here's the entire cord for the original one. It's only about three foot long, three feet long. And here you go with the, one of the USB. So it looks like you can actually go ahead and, what's the back piece of the other one? Let's say like you can put this on the back and still route through here like you can with the original console, which is pretty cool. I like that. So that was just a basic unboxing. If you guys want a full review, just like this, share it, and of course, leave a comment below so I can go ahead and know what you guys want to see on the channel. All right? If, you know, if I don't see much interest in it, you know, I guess I'll bring it up on Twitter here and there when I'm speaking to you guys, but just let me know. Again, this is Ray Command. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next video.